Hey everyone, figured I'd uh, give tonight's daily challenge a try before I go to bed. It's uh, build two wonders, grow a city to six population, and control 25 hexes. Uh, I'm sure which of those is going to be the, the hardest to get. They're all about the same. Maybe the 25 hexes? Alright, let's go ahead and see what the map looks like. Alright, so, important things that I see right away, two stone hexes, and I gotta build two wonders, so that could be important, and the holy site, because I need 25 hexes, and claiming the holy site gives you every hex that surrounds it. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, uh... It's tempting to go for two stone, but when you're really just trying to get to these three objectives real fast and you destroy a whole bunch of cards, you might not need two. Um, I think I'm going to go here, get that stone as fast as possible, and then also get this holy site as fast as possible. The question is... You know, I'll get it on it. My culture will spread there and get it on its own, actually. I don't think. I was going to go claim it with a military unit, but if I'm going to be building wonders, I'll reduce, be producing a bunch of culture. And if I go right here, it'll definitely get that within a few turns. Alright, so let's go ahead and try it. Now, just ignore those recommendations sometimes because it's not factoring in your objectives there. Alright, so I definitely want to use Grease's breakthrough ability to get a science. And research masonry and mine. And then get the mine on the stone. I'm gonna assume I don't get attacked real early. That'd be bad if I do. Alright, I'm gonna be destroying a lot of cards here. Temple of Diana is not a great wonder to build normally in your capital because there is no gold maintenance cost in your capital, but I don't really care too much about that right now. It would have been nice if there was a stove for trade, but there's not. I could get a scout up on this other one and just gather it. it seems like a good idea. Hanging gardens is much better. The question is, do I need a settler? I, I think I'm going to have to get a settler. If I enslave population, I'll get three hammers. Uh, it's just that I can't destroy enough cards to build either of these wonders right now. If I build a wonder there next turn, I also can't build a settler there next turn because I don't have a warehouse there where I can build two things in the city at the same time in the same turn. Well, I was lucky to do the settler again. Possibly end up with woodworking. Oh, I still wouldn't be able to build this out of this turn. I'll do. Hmm. I'll do the settler first.
No, definitely save seller. Definitely save enslaved population. Yeah. Destroy. Yeah, there's just no reason to build a great wall. It's an expensive wonder. I should do cheap wonders. It's gonna keep telling me to end my turn because I don't have any cards for a second. I don't think I'm gonna need it because the turn you build the warehouse, you can build one more thing that turn, but that won't help me because it'll still take an extra turn before I can build my next wonder and the settler. So I think I've got to get the settler next because I've got to expand. That's gonna be because it's gonna take a turn to build him, take a turn to move, and then a turn to build the city. In fact, I probably should have done that earlier before I built the first wonder. Most unfortunate. I could use this, get a science, but I can't keep it. Went there. Gotta go there soon. Yeah, actually, it's late population. Maybe not a good idea because I need a city with six. I can't build it this turn because I already built my cellar. Means I gotta get rid of my science. Gosh, I'm gonna go and build a farm so I can get food, and I don't. I'm not gonna be a slave in population after all. There. Now I'm gonna grow. My now my culture will grow to that. Holy shit. There you go. It's only 12 hexes though. So I'm going here instead of here. We're going here instead of here because uh, I might get border growth to this hex anyways. So that would be a wasted hex for the ones that are gained when I build my city. And here I'll get um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But that'd be eight here. I still need five more though. Hmm. We need another settler. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So scouts can gather. They can't. They can only gather every other turn. Uh, and you know that's that's to make it so that they're. I think they'd be overpowered if they could gather every turn because that'd basically be like having a worker on the hex. I'll just leave them there. Well, not doing much good. I should probably go someplace where I can get food or something. If there's a hut up here with a cellar in it. I'll take my chances on that. Alright, save the granary. Don't need more wonders. Don't need more scouts. Might need that. Save that. I don't think I'm gonna need that. Might want that, but only have five cards now, though. Oh, no. Oh, oh, okay. 
That was lucky. Well, okay, not that lucky. They'd been lucky if there was a settler in that hut. Yeah, so I lost one because France has already expanded here. I still need six more. Um, yeah, I gotta do another settler, I think. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get enough hexes. Should have done a warehouse in Athens. I'll give me points. Maybe I should do that. If your turn total is tied to somebody else on the leaderboard, the player with the higher points gets first place. The higher position. things here. I don't know if let me do that. I can forge outside of where I can see. Might be a bug. City grow. Oh, too late, buddy. Ouch, number one. 
great. Let's see first attempts though. Still number six. People are getting too good at this game. Yeah, I mean, things I could have done different there. Uh, I think getting a warehouse in Athens would have been made a huge difference. Um, I didn't do it because I didn't think I was going to be able to build both wonders on the same turn anyways, but there was always... I had to build two settlers um, and a bunch of other stuff too, so it, it, there was definitely chances where I could have built two things there on the same turn. Um, I mean, what else I would have done different... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, sh I should have counted up the hexes around here better. I, I, For some reason, I was thinking 25 hexes was less than it is. And I, I needed to plan for building at least one settler. Or probably, yeah, probably there's not really any way to do it without two, I don't think. If there was another holy site up here, that would have been a way uh, to get a bunch more without a settler. Because you could just capture the holy site with a military unit, and then you'll get... It'd be like getting a city's worth of hexes again. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll try it another time. Uh, not, not right now though. Score again. Yeah, it's crazy. The craziest thing about this is how well everybody did in the first attempt. Uh, I'm planning on adding a uh, the one of the main modes that we're gonna add is the weekly campaign mode and. I'm thinking that I'm going to make that so that it's just first attempts. I know a lot of daily challenges and games do it that way where you only get one shot. And I like that right now. Um, I know a lot of people really like, you know, figuring out ways to do the same challenge faster. So I definitely don't want to take that away. But the uh, the weekly the weekly campaign, I think, might be just first attempts because it'll be a sequence of challenges. It'll, so it won't, you won't be able to do it in, you know, 20 minutes or so. It'll probably take you an hour or two at least. Alright. Uh, I'll sign off there. Thanks for watching.